three catches, five pass attempts so far for Tommy Acosta. They've gone for 38, 16, and 32. Acosta will look to his right, and that one's picked! And the Oilers are going to take this one! Steel Kurtz! Payback is sweet! Touchdown, Oilers! His second pick six of the season, Steel Kurtz to the house! Two wide receivers set on the near side for Capo Valley. Talon Spencer and Syree Jefferson. High snap into the end zone. Acosta has it. He falls on it. And that will be a safety. There on the tackle was number 92, Brody Rutherford Livingston, was in the end zone to tap Acosta to make that play. It will go down as a safety. Oilers up 9-7. Second and four from the 46, looking to get to midfield. Brady's got some time. He's going to air it out to Troy Foster. He beats the defender, and he is going to run to the 10, 5. Touchdown, Oilers! Edmonds to Foster. Get used to it because it goes for a score. First and goal for the Oilers on a gain of nine. Edmonds ready to roll. First and goal, Oilers looking to punch it in. They hand it off up the middle. It's gonna be close into the end zone. Where's the signal? There it is. Touchdown, Oilers! A huge run from none other than number 20, Nathan Samartano gets the score. Snap is fumbled, and the Oilers have a defender on it. Where's the signal? And it is the Oilers! Handoff to number five, Riley Walker. Nowhere to be found. And it's number 15, Logan Gray and Owen Bone at the scene of the crime. Logan Gray has the ball in his hands. Turnover, Oilers football. Can they go on into the end zone with the score? Edmonds inside with the slant route. It is caught. Touchdown, Oilers. It is completed to number 12, Steele Kurtz. His second touchdown of the night, first offensively, and the Oilers are back on the board. It's 28-17. Oilers looking to keep their five-point lead. Fourth down play, Acosta, pressure. He's got a hole, he's got a pass. He throws it intended for Hunter. He makes a grab, but it's popped and incomplete. Charlie Steuben pops it out. Flags a fly, but it's incomplete. Turnover on downs, and the Oilers are going to hang on to this one. 115 remaining in this contest with no timeouts left for Capo. Guess what? It's victory formation for the Oilers. They will run this clock out, and they will begin the 2024 season with a 2-1 record heading on the road to take on Redondo Union next week.